K12 Inc. is a for-profit education company that sells online schooling and curricula. K12 is an education management organization that provides online education designed as alternatives alternative to traditional bricks and mortar education for public school students from kindergarten to 12th grade. Publicly traded K12 is the largest EMO in terms of enrollment. K12 and similar for profit online schools have been criticized for graduation rates less than half the average of all public schools. Topic: History. Topic: Finance. The company was founded by former banker Ronald J. Packard. Initial investors in the company included Michael R. Milken and Lowell Milken of education company Knowledge Universe, who along with the Milken Family Foundation, invested $10 million. Andrew Tisch of the Lowe's Corporation and Larry Ellison of Oracle Corporation also contributed venture capital. It became a publicly traded company on December 13, 2007. Topic. Leadership William Bennett, Secretary of Education under Ronald Reagan was hired as the company's first chairman of the board, serving until 2005. In 2005, the Philadelphia Board of Education called for the termination of a $3 million science curriculum contract with K-12 after Bennett said, "...if you wanted to reduce crime." You could abort every black baby in the country and your crime rate would go down. That would be an impossible, ridiculous, and morally reprehensible thing to do, but your crime rate would go down." Bennett subsequently resigned from the K-12 board and his part-time position with K-12. The contract was not revoked, but was not renewed at the end of the contract term. Founder Packard resigned in 2014 to start Pansophic Learning. On February 13, 2018, Stuart Udell resigned from his role as CEO of K-12. Nate Davis, the previous CEO, replaced Udell as the current CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Offerings Education <laughs> management <laughs> 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 K-12 is a for-profit education management organization In this sector, K-12 does not operate physical schools, but provides online curriculum to home-schooled children and other schools. K-12 was the largest EMO in the U.S. in 2011-2012. K-12's for-profit rival Edison Learning has also moved away from physical schoolhouses to virtual offerings. K-12 offers its online curriculum at three levels to states and districts as a homeschooling alternative to brick and mortar schools to school districts as a supplement to classroom teaching to parents individually as a private online homeschooling alternative in 2015 526 virtual schools in the United States enrolled 278,511 students topic <laughs> charter management K-12 competes with non-profit educational organizations known as Charter Management Organizations that typically run brick-and-mortar schools. Other large non-profits are Imagine Schools 55 schools, KIPP 209 schools, and Cosmos. Multi-state EMOs and CMOS control about a third of the charter school market. K-12 provides full-service solutions to online non-profit CMOS including Agora and Insight in Pennsylvania. The company manages state-funded virtual charter schools and hybrid schools in 29 U.S. states and the District of Columbia. In 2015, K-12 was CMO and charter holder for schools enrolling 44,559 students. Topic: <laughs> Curricula. <laughs> <laughs> K-12's product line includes courses for pre-K, elementary, middle, and high school grades, online learning platforms, and educational software. 
K-12 sells a range of packages, from turnkey online school systems to individual courses for students. The K-8 curriculum includes core subject areas, math, science, language arts, history, art, music, and world languages. The majority of lessons in the early grades are offline using textbooks, printed materials, and hands-on activities. The learning coach typically a parent or guardian is expected to spend three to five hours each day monitoring students' progress, logging attendance, and facilitating lessons. Short answer or multiple choice assessments are given at the end of most lessons in K-8 and are administered and recorded by the learning coach. At the high school level, grades 9 to 12, students complete all coursework online. Less parental involvement is expected. In high school, teachers monitor students' progress and grade tests and assignments. In addition to core and comprehensive courses, students can choose remedial, honors, credit recovery and advanced placement options. Unlike in the K-8 grades, high school courses take place mostly online. Students attend live online classes and have more communication with teachers, via email, phone, and online conferences. In all cases, the school assigns a state certified teacher to assist the coach and student. The cost to a sponsoring agency depends on the teacher student ratio selected. K 12 offered the Commonwealth of Virginia three plans a teacher student ratio of 40, 50, or 60 to 1. Teacher interaction is accomplished through virtual classroom environments using Blackboard Collaborate, telephone, and face-to-face -face meetings and events. In hybrid schools, students complete the same curriculum but attend a physical building and participate in classes with other students and teachers. <laughs> Branding K-12 offers itself through a variety of brands. Topic. State and district sponsored homeschooling K-12 develops identities for specific opportunities. In Union County, Tennessee, it has operated Tennessee Virtual Academy since 2011. In Pennsylvania, it operates Insight Pennsylvania Cyber Charter School, K-12 operates Hoosier Academy Virtual Charter School, an online charter school in Indiana that enrolled 3,681 students in 2016. The school is scheduled to be closed in June 2018. <inaudible> <inaudible> Private online K-12 schools K-12 Inc. operates three online private schools, K-12 International Academy aka Academy for short, George Washington University Online High School, and the Keystone School. In 2011, George Washington University partnered with K-12, Inc. to offer a full-time online private school accredited by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools Commissions on Elementary and Secondary Schools. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career and Technical Education. K-12 Inc. offers career and technical education programs at public schools, called Destinations Career Academies and programs to students in grades 9 to 12. <laughs> Fuel education In April 2014, K-12 Inc. established wholly owned subsidiary, Fuel Education. Fuel Education operates as a separate legal entity from K-12 Inc., and houses different personalized learning programs. <laughs> <laughs> School assessment The National Education Policy Center regularly conducts studies of the performance of K-12 and other for-profit virtual schools including Connections Academy a subsidiary of Pearson Education. These studies have not been encouraging. A study at Western Michigan University and the National Education Policy Center found that only a third of K 12 schools achieved adequate yearly progress, which is required for public schools by the federal No Child Left Behind legislation. According to The Times, by almost every educational measure, the Agora Cyber Charter School, a school run by K 12, is failing. In Pennsylvania, 42% of Agora students tested at grade level or better in math, compared with 75% of students statewide. 52% of Agora students tested at grade level or better in reading, compared with 72% statewide. 
Nonetheless, Agora brought K-12 $72 million in the 2011 school year, more than 10% of K-12's revenue. Agora terminated its contract with K-12 in 2014. Proponents argue that such statistics are undermined by the fact that a significant proportion of newly enrolled students begin several grade levels behind because of an alleged failure of brick-and-mortar schools. Education reformers such as United States Secretary of Education Arne Duncan, have further stated that AYP is not an accurate measure of a school's performance and estimated that under NCLB, as many as 82% of America's schools could be labeled failing. The press and politicians have been equally critical. A 2012 PolitiFact.com article noted K-12's poor performance in Tennessee. The New York Times investigated K-12 and concluded that the company squeezes profits from public school funding by raising enrollment, increasing teacher workload, and lowering standards. The Washington Post raised similar issues. K-12 defends its position, describing its student base as at risk to begin with. Topic. Lobbying efforts The New York Times wrote that company profits are used to pay for advertising and lobbying state officials. K-12 spent $26.5 million on advertising in 2010 and the company and its employees contributed nearly $500,000 to state political candidates from 2004 to 2010. K-12 has contributed money to organizations like Pennsylvania Families for Public Cyber Schools, which lobbied for online schools. In Ohio, an organization founded by a K-12 official hired temp agency workers to demonstrate with signs against State Representative Stephen Dreyer, who challenged their funding. See also California Virtual Academies Ohio Virtual Academy Virtual School Charter Schools in the United States Charter School Educational Technology School Choice List of Virtual Schools <laughs>